Hello, welcome to this edition of Jump Around Monday, January 18th. Um, we just got back off the road. We wrestled Illinois and Ohio State um, in a pretty cool little, um, you know, weed fashion dual meet. And it was a great way to do the matches. I, I kind of really enjoyed it. Uh, even though we came away with two losses, uh, I was very proud of the guys' effort um, and their hustle. We've got a lot of young guys in the lineup. Um, and, and, you know, we're, we're really, um, we're really kind of just starting to uh, see some of the, the, the work we put in the last couple of weeks. So um, I think we're going to see a better Wisconsin team every week. Um, you know, as we, we, we've struggled to, uh, you know, get enough practice time, you know, that I'd like to prepare our guys. And each week we're going to be able to pr keep preparing. Uh, and I think these guys are going to get better every time they step on the mat. Um, Garrett Bottle went 2-0 and yesterday. Looked really, really good. Uh, really happy with how well he's progressing. Uh, really liked the way Jared Kradinger competed. Uh, he did lose to Caleb Romero, who was uh, ranked kind of high. But he also wrestled really great. Got him a win. Um uh, against Illinois, and, and and he's looked great in the you know up uh, the the practices preceding this match, and uh, I see a great future and uh, a great season coming from him. Trent Hilger uh, pinned the number six ranked wrestler in the country, who he went overtime with last year, and uh, and the best part of it was it was I got to see a bunch of freshmen wrestle uh, some of those extra matches. Um, the guys are, uh, you know, the young guys look good. I see a lot of development, which was really important for me to make sure that the guys um, that are following the plan and um, and they're getting better. You know, uh, again, I throw Craddy out there. He, he, he looked really, really good uh, from a development standpoint just from last year. Even Trent Hilger did some wonderful things in the match that he won, um, you know, from a development standpoint and just, just happy. Uh, up and down the lineup, newcomer Chris Weiler looked looked good in in, in the match that he won, and um, you know again the first match jitters, the first match of the year was a uh, um, it kind of got it kind of really got a hold of us. Um, but on a positive note, guys coming back on the bus again, we're just grateful they got to compete, and um, you know now it's it's got to focus into uh, improving each week, getting ready to win. Uh, that's got to be a, a focus here as we we uh, we only have. Um, you know, seven dual meets left, and then we're into the conference season. So uh, improvement um, and winning a lot of matches is what we, we've really got to focus on and getting as many people to the national tournament as we can. So um, excited for that. As for this week, Sunday, we wrestled Purdue at home, 1 p.m., where, again, we're not allowing fans, which, uh, you know, is, is, is um, you know, what's been consistent across the board uh, with our university and our athletic department. So, uh, you know, hopefully, again, it's kind of a, a bummer for us because we do have a great atmosphere atmosphere in the field house but we want to keep everybody safe so excited for purdue they've got a great squad they've got a couple of really highly ranked guys uh, they, they it was a scrap last year between us they, they wrestle hard they're hard nosed guys and uh just excited for our guys again to go out and see where we are uh, and how much we can improve week to week uh, again as we prepare for the end of the year so uh, we're going to keep plugging along and um you know again a lot of positive notes uh to take away from yesterday even though we did take two two losses um, you know, we, we've got a young squad and we're excited to keep rolling with these guys and keep getting them better you know, and keep improving. So uh, keep staying with us, keep supporting us. And as always, start your week off right and jump around.